for some reason, people are still bowing to the cancel mob. You would think people were past this by now, but they are not. And now this time we've got some content creator, I would say on content, yeah, content creator on content creator e-violence, <laughs> not actual violence. Uh, but this is not good. And I wanted to show some support for Shad Brooks on this. Uh, so some of you, a lot of you know Shad Brooks because he has a big channel where he talks about swords and medieval things of that nature. And then a lot of you probably know him from Friday Night Tights. I've been on a couple episodes with him. Always just so funny, so nice, so just jovial, really good attitude uh, type of dude. This is definitely not someone that I would picture getting canceled even for you know, his opinions about things that, uh, with his Christian, uh, beliefs and, and being more conservative things of that nature. Uh, obviously no one is safe in that kind of case with myself. I get it. I get why people come after me. I use slurs. I, I call people, I don't actually call people retards unless they're my friends, but I say retards. <laughs> that's the funny thing when I get a lot of backlash for saying slurs or like you know um the the homophobic the the bundle of sticks word that people really get mad at me about they are constantly saying oh you keep you call yourself a Christian and you call people the bundle of sticks words you call people bro show me show me where I call people that I don't call people that unless they're my friend, okay? I use the slur all the time. <laughs> but never mean-spirited, but I digress. Anyway, with Shad, he does not do these sort of things even. Shad is very, very safe. I don't get why, and then on his channel and all that kind of stuff, he doesn't even get political or anything. I don't get why anyone would be trying to cancel him, but here we have it. A longtime friend and colleague of his has cut off ties with him because of the cancel mob. So here we go. This guy's name's Matt. He's from another channel called Scala Gladiatoria. I'm not versed in the sword community. Um, so I don't understand. If I'm mispronouncing anything or whatever, uh, bear with me. I'm a I'm a woman. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, let's continue here. So he makes this post on his Facebook page and says, Dear community, fans, and members, this is the kind of post I normally try to avoid. You will notice that this morning I have removed a post that I made while I was away working and traveling yesterday. At quite short notice, I was kindly invited to get together with a varied group of people to do some filming. I don't normally turn down such opportunities unless I have some concrete re reason. Even if I have factual and non-damaging disagreements with another person involved, I try to beat views that I disagree with, with facts and argument. One of the people involved yesterday, it turns out, is highly personally offensive to a lot of people I care about. Oh gosh. Both here and offline. I did not know the depths and complexities of the issues with that person before yesterday. And notice how, you know, this wasn't a conversation that he was going to have with Shad. He didn't try to personally reach out by the look of it and discuss these things. Instead, he just makes this post to try to character assassinate him and paint him to be some terrible terrible person, this terrible offensive person, right? Uh, this is just egregious here. Like, come on, man. Uh, I don't care if somebody has historical views that I disagree with. I will argue with them, but I do deeply care if a person has views that I deem to be venturing into the realm of bigotry, such as sexism, racism, or homophobia. That is absolutely and obviously a line in the sand for me. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Okay. Because any of these, if I were to think something with Shad, I have not seen 
this is the thing is woke people will throw around the word bigotry when it doesn't even exist. When in all reality, it's a lot of the woke people who are bigger bigots. And who is the target of their bigotry more than most people? It's religious folk, especially Christians, right? For some reason, they expect us to uproot and change and accommodate them with our faith, with our beliefs. All right, so this is reminding me of a uh, tweet that I made the other day, um, you know, talking about people, a lot of these woke people who just get mad about my beliefs on things. And this was regarding the transgender ideology. I said, hilarious how people tell me I will go to hell for not affirming what the Bible calls abominations. They tell you, oh, you're a bad Christian if you don't affirm transgender people, which the Bible calls an abomination. Seriously? So you're going to completely hijack and uproot? See, this is the thing is these woke people have hijacked everything thing else. They've hijacked entertainment. They've hijacked the movie industry. They've hijacked the gaming industry, comic books, all that. So they think they can just waltz in and hijack religion as well. And in many cases they have with Christianity, you've got these, uh, these certain groups of, of, of Christians that have fit modern times to where they are just completely changing what the Bible teaches us. And going against the word of God, making up their wills. Oh, well, you know, this whole progressive sect of Christianity. It's a new religion. Let's be real. It's a new religion. And uh, it's dangerous at that because it's leading a lot of people off the path. It is affirming and telling people that, hey, you know what? It's not a sin. This isn't a sin. All this pride stuff, all that isn't a sin. Well, that's dangerous thing to do is to tell people that sin isn't sin. Because whenever these people you're affirming, if they are to die in their sin, in their lifestyle of sin, their, their blood is on your hands. So, yeah, no pressure or anything. But this is, this is what we're running into, right? So, this meme here, this... You all should change your core values and beliefs so I fit in. This is exactly what has happened. And this is what has been going on with people walking in here. Oh, well, it's just a homophobia. Well, the Bible is inherently homophobic and transphobic. If you want to call it that. If you want to say that these stupid words, obviously, when you really unpack it, no, it's not fear of homos it's not fear of trans it's it's calling it a sin because the bible is the it, it is a sin right it is biblically a sin so these people would call that homophobia these people would call that transphobia so on and so forth so apparently because of the new rules the woke ideologies and this and that People who are like Christian values and Christian beliefs that the Bible, which has existed for thousands of years, we're not allowed to believe in it anymore? Who do you think you are? The audacity. The freaking audacity. The narcissism. Come on. I have interacted with this person over the years, including posting video rebuttals, arguments, responses, etc. on historical matters. I had not experienced anything negative with that person other than disagreeing with a fairly large number of points that person made as evidence by my video response over the years. Example, what is HEMA? I have no freaking idea about this stuff. Um, anyways, continue. However, yesterday after filming, it was brought to my attention that on their second channel, one I have only visited a handful of times a long time ago, this person is now promoting political and social views, which are absolutely against my own views. Oh, oh no. Oh, can't have that. Oh, yikes. 
do you, do you realize how many people in the, uh, even just talking about the content creator space, people who I'm on their podcast all the time that, oh, make content that are different than my views and my beliefs. And what, we're still friends? Yes. Because human beings are human beings, right? I'm not going to dehumanize every single person who disagrees with me. That is just absurd. But this is where we're at with the woke ideology. And they want to talk about tolerance. When their version of tolerance is conform and bow down and submit to my worldview. Or you're a bigot. All right, this person is now promoting political and social media against my own views and indeed against the principles of the groups and events I run. I was not aware of the nature and extremity of this person's views before yesterday. Oh, so extreme because, you know, I don't know exactly what the topic is, but I'm just going to say probably more along the lines of, oh, he's a Christian. So extreme. Whoa. Okay. People can, of course, voice their views in a free society, but I am equally free to disapprove of, disagree with, and disassociate with those views, which I hereby do in black and white terms. I do not align myself at all or in any way agree with that person's views on these topics, which should be patently obvious to anyone who knows me or has followed my channel closely. I filmed one video with the said person yesterday and I had already decided last night not to publish that. I have also now taken down yesterday's post because I want to move on from this and disassociate from them. Wow. I understand that many people will be angry that I have collaborated with that person at all, even before I knew their views. And I hope that it will be I hope that it will partially appease you to know that I will not associate with them with, again, blah, blah, blah. For people who are upset and didn't know this person's views, I suggest you go and decide for yourself. Now, this page will return to his usual content, blah, 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 blah. This is just absurd. Bro, I mean, a lot of us have been through this, content creator or not, especially in recent years with the pandemic and the freaking claw shot and all that crap, okay? So... I think most of us in general can be able to relate. But what this guy doesn't realize is by bowing to the mob in this case and letting them control him, this is just where it starts. If you're going to facilitate that kind of audience, just know you are one misstep, one slight misstep away from losing them. They're not real. They're not really for you. Friends, audience, whatever it is, they ain't real. They ain't your ride or dies. Okay, they will they will turn their back on you for playing a video game they don't approve of. Okay, that's the kind of people you want to cater to. You know, and the woke ideology is constantly making up new rules. So, oh, what if you're not up to date? What if you haven't had the firmware patch of what the current thing is to agree with? Then what? Then you're going to make them mad again until they control every facet of your life. Everyone you follow, every post you like, this, that, or the other. No, thank you. That ain't how I'm trying to live. So if the people want to leave because of who I'm friends with, who I follow, because I didn't get a certain shot, bro, go. Ha you know, have fun. But... I ain't going to beg for you to stay in my life. That's all I know. But it's still sad. It still hurts when it happens, especially when it's somebody close. Now, uh, I'm. this is a very, very good post here that Shad made. I'm not going to read the entire thing just for sake of time. But let me just give you the general gist of what he said. Um, he said, something very sad has happened. Matt Easton of Scala Gladiatoria, a longtime collaborator and friendly peer in the YouTube sword community, has just chosen to cut off all association with me, Shad, and my channel, Shadversity. Shadowversity. We had just had a great day collaborating with other wonderful sword content creators. It was a day of friendship, discussion, and laughter. Upon sharing some images 
of the day and filming, he received many hateful comments about me. I'm guessing of the type that grossly misrepresent and vilify my beliefs in an attempt to discredit and harm my reputation without contacting me to find out the true context of my extremely basic and commonly held conservative beliefs that I am outspoken about outside of shadowversity. He has chosen to totally to totally and completely excommunicate me from his association, even in spite of the kindness, support, respect, and friendship I've shown him over the years of our association. Goodwill, benefit of the doubt, personal friendly interactions, and past kindness mean little, apparently. Matt isn't the first person to do this, and perhaps I'll talk about the others in the future. Um, this is This is just... This is just where we've been with society. And, you know, here's the thing. And he goes on to describe more, um, you know, about his beliefs, you know, how he's has conservative beliefs, how he's a Christian. And hey, these are common beliefs. You know, uh, how how can you call yourself tolerant, a, a tolerant person when you can't tolerate other people's beliefs and you expect them to entirely conform to your worldview? Like that's such a messed up thing. And one thing you constantly see and when he talks about being taken out of context, vilified, so on and so forth. Like I already know I post about the Bible all the time. I am not going to one thing I'm not going to do is have freaking blood on my hands. So I'm not going to sit and parrot the progressive Christianity thing. I, I was at a point before where I, you know, it was a tough hurdle for me to get over. And I want it. It's, it's, it's hard sometimes to get a bunch of backlash. And it's hard sometimes to, to, especially when you have friends that are in certain lifestyles that the Bible doesn't approve of. It's hard to, to really embrace that and to embrace the reality of the situation and what the Bible says. It's tough because it's like, oh, I don't, I don't want, I don't like that. I don't like it that my friend is sinning for doing this. You know, it's hard to really hold on to that. But then the more I read the Bible, the more I understood. <laughs> and the more I realized, hey, it's not about my rules. It's not about this. When people start creating their own morality, look what happens. We're at that with society now. Okay. And so I had to get over a lot of stuff. And so now I'm just like, you know what? This is, this is how it is. This is how I, this is how I believe. This is my faith. You know, this is the Bible here. This is the absolute truth. I'm not going to go by objective morality. That does not get anybody anywhere. It's, it's straight up Luciferianism. Like it's straight up satanic. And I made a video called woke ideology is satanic. I made that last year. That's what it is. It's worship of self. And when you start thinking that you are capable of making the rules, I mean, first of all, not everyone is going to agree on things, but when you don't have a firm foundation of moral values, that's what happens. We can't trust our own instincts. We can't trust all of our own. I mean, we're, we're all born into sin. Right. So just me having my faith gives people to paint this picture. And the way that I can best describe it is, is think of something like, oh, okay, I can say donuts are bad for you. Donuts are unhealthy. Donuts are not good for you. And if you eat a bunch of donuts, you're going to get fat. So because I say donuts are bad for you, does that mean I hate everyone who eats donuts? Absolutely not. People can make their own decisions and eat a bunch of donuts and be 400 pounds if they want. It's unhealthy. I wouldn't suggest it. But hey, I'm not going to hate somebody who does that. And so this whole idea of you're not affirming me means you hate me. That's absurd. Most, a, a huge chunk of people, like I eat a carnivore diet, for example, a huge chunk of people think, oh, that's unhealthy. That's unhealthy. Your cholesterol. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I disagree with them, but I don't need their validation for me to continue eating the carnivore diet. I have enough validation in the fact that I feel great and my blood work comes out amazing. And this is the best I've ever felt. That's all I need. <laughs> So the difference here is that people are 
when you have a society that has built objective morality as the standard, then they need a validation from everybody else because they have nothing concrete to hold on to. And this is just the sad reality of things that people are bowing to the mob and people are breaking off friendships and uh, and all that over just all of this. So have fun being controlled by your woke tart audience. Have fun with that because now, especially since they see they got to cave, they got you to cave on this. They are going to try to treat you like a puff puppet, Matt Skull Scala Gladiatoria guy. You made your bed, lie in it. Because that is exactly what is going to happen. Anyway, there you have it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to read your Bible today. Also, check out my channel, Bible Time with Melanie Mack. If you want to hear me read the Bible to you. I would love to do that, whether you're a Christian or not. So, uh, would love to see you there. Anyway, I will catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. <laughs>